very good morning everyone this is dr neha dubey today i am going to discuss one of the very important topic of a managerial economics that is theory of firm today we will discuss the part one of this first of all we all need to know what is a firm a firm is a business organization that brings together and coordinates the factor of a production for the purpose of supplying goods and services and what is the goal of the firm each and every firm mostly have the goal of a maximization of a profit right so here uh, the two theories are popularly known for the uh, theory of firm first the traditional theory of the firm the traditional theory of the firm is uh, based on a classical economics and the work of early economists such as a uh, david ricardo and a uh, leon walras the basic assumptions of a traditional theory of a firm are profit maximization information symmetry marginal analysis firm act as one unit rational choice theory one by one we will discuss all such assumptions firm seeks to maximize profit every firm have and most of the firm we can say have the goal that is the maximization of a profits information symmetry the owners and the workers of the firm have access to good information which enables them to maximize profits now the firm act as a homogeneous unit what is homogeneous unit where the same kind of a product are produced with so the firm act as a uh, an homogeneous unit with owners wishing to a uh, maximize profit and these aims being achieved by the managers and the workers <clears throat> to maximization of the profit a firm makes use of a marginal analysis <coughs> what is marginal analysis in which we find it out the what is the marginal cost and the marginal revenue that i already uh, discussed in a previous lecture so you will go and search that in a particular profit maximization occurs at an output where the marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost marginal revenue uh, is it just a revenue earned by a firm by selling additional unit and marginal cost the cost incurred by the firm by producing one additional unit fine now firms and the managers are rational nowadays uh, the firm and the managers or the we can say the consumer and the people are very rational they uh, are taking the uh, decisions on the rational or intelligently basis with their rational objectives being to be maximize profit here are the graphical representation of the same thing that is uh, the where i can uh, i uh, already told you that the marginal cost and the marginal revenue are equal so we can say that where the profit uh, maximization can be possible there the marginal cost and marginal revenue are intersecting at a particular point so here the point is the unit 5 when the firm is producing the 5 unit and the same level of the price 5 so that is the equilibrium point or we can say here the profit maximization is possible or in other terms or in a, by uh, looking the second paragraph the uh, curve has been pointed out here that is the initially the marginal revenue is increasing with the production increasing uh in compared to the marginal cost and after the uh, highest point uh, the unit 5 is producing that is the maximization of profit and after that level the marginal revenue is decreasing with the increasing in the marginal cost so this is all about it <clears throat> and this is a model to show that a firm will maximize profits by setting the output at a 5 and setting price where the mr is equal to nc and that is the 5 dollar while the traditional theory of the firm provides a starting point for investigating the behavior of a firm and the traditional theory of the firm is increasingly questioned by the modern economists so the all such uh, things or the assumptions which is given by the traditional economists it has a certain loopholes uh, the further modern uh, economists find it out so uh, there are the certain criticism like the first one is the firms are not a homogeneous unit it is not like that uh, as the modern economists find it out uh, the firm is not a homogeneous unit here the multiple task has been done 
and the multiple things or the variety of work has been done so we cannot say that the firms are always a homogeneous unit owners may want the profit maximization but the managers and the workers may have the different objectives definitely it is possible other objectives to the profit maximization the profit maximization is not the only goal of a firm it could include the maximizing the sales the maximizing the market share the social responsibility and the cooperative which seeks to improve the welfare of all society it may be possible now the marginal approach to a firms is not replicated in the real world businessmen do not have the time or the ability to work out the marginal cost and the marginal revenue means by additional unit the uh, ha, uh, the person has to find it out the marginal cost and the marginal revenue and on that basis the profit uh, calculation has been done so it is not easily possible and they they tend to use a rough rule of thumb such as the average cost and the profit margin prices may also be sticky even if the marginal cost and the marginal revenue are changes imperfect information firms have a imperfect information about the prices cost and the competitors also the workers are not like a typical factor of a production they may have become demotivated or discouraged if the work appears boring or lacking in interest and this can affect the objectives of firm so here the imperfect information we can say that there is a lacking of information and it is maybe the cause of the miscommunication or the the requirement of the workers and the other persons are varied with their objectives so if this will be happen so the boringness or we can say the lacking of interest has been arrive and in that cases the objectives of the firm can be affected now the behavioral economics the recent behavioral economics thalers and the avarsky state the importance of a human psychology in determining the behavior of firm a much more complex set of a circumstances than simple profit maximization so ultimately we can say here in the theory of firm the certain uh, assumptions has been taken like the homogeneous unit and uh, the information symmetry means the upper management and the lower management <coughs> each and every one have the same kind of informations the ultimate goal of the firm is the profit maximization and it all has been calculated on that basis the marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue or on that assumptions the modern economists find certain loopholes so it is not always possible so they count it at as a criticism and they launch the for the new theory and which we will discuss in a next lecture so thank you for today we will uh, meet you in a next lecture with the next theory thank you till now